Hey there scientific brilliant people, how are you today? So I am going to take up a very important topic that actually belongs to the soil engineering part but since some part of the density is also covered so this may be a very good discussion for grade 9 to 12 students and let us try to understand bulk density and particle density of the soil with the help of the pycnometer method. So we are supposed to measure this. So this is just a theory and it will be followed definitely by the help of the experiment but in the later part of the videos not today. So here is a pycnometer and in this pycnometer there is a stopper and I am going to measure the bulk and particle density of the soil theoretically with the help of this pycnometer. So when I fill this pycnometer with anything any liquid till top and the moment I put the stopper the extra liquid overflows and whatever liquid that stays inside is of 25 ml. So I will ensure that I will fill everything till here right and everything would be 25 ml inside and we also know that 1 centimeter cube is equal to 1 ml. So let's start. I am drawing the pycnometers over here. So what we need is first of all we require a pycnometer and this pycnometer is to be put on a digital weighing balance. So it will give me the mass of the empty pycnometer in grams. Then I am going to fill this pycnometer with the soil completely. The same pycnometer and now this time whatever reading I am going to get over here in the digital balance would be the mass of the pycnometer and the mass of the soil. So if I fill this completely with, with the soil, what is going to happen is there are going to be some air spaces in between over here. So here actually the mass of the air is also included but I am considering the mass of the air to be negligible and I am removing it from the point of discussion over here. So mass of the empty pycnometer is MP and let us assume this as 10 grams. This is some sample of soil and the mass of pycnometer. Let me consider this as 80 grams. Now what am I going to do is, so now I am going to add water in it people in this one from the top and I would be very careful while I add the water inside it because there are only small small air spaces and when the water goes in it is only going to occupy those air spaces. So with the help of a dropper, drop by drop I am going to add the water and I am going to continuously shake it such that the air will go out from here and the water is going to take the place of the air spaces over here. So now what, what do I have over here? I have soil and drop by drop I keep on adding the water such that all the air is removed and when the water starts overflowing I must stop and I must realize now that there are no air spaces and all the volume which was initially being occupied by the air now it is being occupied by the water. So now I have over here as the mass of pycnometer the empty bottles mass is also going to appear plus mass of the soil will also come plus some amount of water which is now filling up the empty space which was being occupied by the air before so mass of the water will also come over here. Let me consider this as 83 grams. We will also do the practical for this one but let us understand this theoretically. Right guys? So I have three things over here, empty pycnometer bottle, pycnometer bottle with the, with the soil in it and pycnometer bottle with soil and water in it and no air space over here. Now let me write down what we have done over here. So we have mass of empty pycnometer bottle that is say MP and we know it is 10 grams. Now 
here we have mass of pycnometer plus the mass of soil plus the mass of soil and this is mp plus ms that is 80 grams now in the third one we have mass of pycnometer plus soil plus water and I am going to get the mass as mp plus ms plus mw and that I know <clears throat> that is 83 grams this is just for our example purpose we are understanding this right guys <clears throat> okay <clears throat> sorry now let me write the total volume total volume or it is 25 ml let me consider that as v as i showed you the volume of this pycnometer is 25 ml so when i completely fill anything till here it will be 25 ml so in this second situation the total volume is actually the volume of soil plus volume of air and that is 25 ml or 25 centimeter cube as 1 ml is equal to 1 centimeter cube so here the total volume is occupied by air plus soil and this is the one which i am going to use in the bulk density now here <clears throat> here i know that mass of only water this part is very crucial guys so mass of only water okay let me first of all calculate the mass of only soil so mass of only soil i will have to subtract this minus this so i will do mp plus ms that is this reading minus this reading that is mass of pycnometer so i'm going to get my answer is 80 grams minus 10 grams that would be 70 gram so the first thing that i'm getting over here is the mass of only soil that is 70 grams now let me find the mass of only water which has occupied the space of the air so mass of only water is this reading minus this reading so that is mp plus ms plus mw minus the second reading that is mp plus ms so here this as you can see that mp and ms are going to get cancelled so i'm only going to get the mass of water right so it is 83 grams minus this was 80 gram so this is 3 gram so now i am getting the mass of only water inside this to be 3 grams right guys now assuming the density of water to be 1 density of water we know it is 1 gram per centimeter cube we know the mass of water inside this third bottle so we know the mass of the water that is 3 grams so density is mass upon volume so from that calculation the volume of only water in this will be 3 centimeter cube density is mass upon volume so that means I now know what is the volume occupied by only water over here right guys so out of 25 centimeter cube 3 centimeter cube is occupied by the water that means rest 22 centimeter cube will be occupied by our soil so volume of only soil will be total volume that is 25 centimeter cube minus the volume occupied by the water that is 3 centimeter cube so my answer would be 22 centimeter cube that is the true volume of the soil excluding the air spaces 
करेक्ट ओके नाउ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बल्क डेंसिटी ऑफ सॉइल इज इक्वल टू मास ऑफ द सॉइल सो मास ऑफ द सॉइल आई एम ऑलरेडी अवेयर अबाउट दैट इज एम एस दैट इज सेवेंटी ग्राम्स डिवाइडेड बाय द टोटल वॉल्यूम इन बल्क डेंसिटी द एयर स्पेस इज आर ऑल्सो काउंटेड एंड द टोटल वॉल्यूम ऑफ द सॉइल प्लस सो इट विल बी द वॉल्यूम ऑफ सैंड प्लस द वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर सो दिस वैल्यू इज सेवेंटी ग्राम्स एंड दिस वैल्यू इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर क्यूब सो वॉट एवर दिस आंसर इज दिस इज माई बल्क डेंसिटी बट इफ आई फाइंड द पार्टिकल डेंसिटी of soil this particle density of the soil is equal to mass of the only soil upon only the volume occupied by soil no air spaces now i have found out that 22 cm cube is the only volume found volume occupied by the <coughs> sand so it will be 70 grams over here and 22 centimeter cube as you can see that the this denominator is smaller than this denominator so the particle density will always be bigger than the bulk density so this is a very important part people that we should always understand that the particle density is always greater than bulk density so hopefully guys you have understood this explanation and please comment if you have any kind of doubts thank you for watching the video